So it is Friday, the beginning of the weekend here in the Transformer world, and we got some pre-orders dropping in our laps today. First one comes courtesy of Target themselves. They even had Hasbro film a little, I guess we'll call it a micro little live stream video. Uh, we had BMAC and we had Evan. They were showing off the Transformer Studio Series Dead Brawn and Ratchet 2-pack that we've been talking about all up until this point. Now we got the nice high-res images, the official, you know, reveal by the Hasbro crew. Uh, some really nice photos. Poor Braun, he is just getting absolutely destroyed in these images. And the pre-order goes live today on uh, the Target Collectors website. The link is available on their front page. It's very easy to find. And the pre-orders drop right now. It's going to be $59.99 for this amazing little two-pack and will be coming out July 21st. 2024 to get in your hand i mean i'm going to just say this with discretion the last two pack you know it kind of went on clearance afterwards so it's something unless you're really excited about these characters but you might not want to drop the money right away maybe wait maybe not wait i'm you know i'm on the fence on this one if uh this will hit clearance too but this is a target exclusive and historically we have seen some of these target items reach uh deep clearance later on Keep that in mind. I always want you guys to worry about your wallet and take care of yourselves. That is something I do want to mention, but I mean, I'm hyped about it. I love Braun. The shuttle scene now can be complete with this two-pack. I think it's great. I think it's great, personally. Uh, I have a little bit of a bias. We got another one here. We talked about it yesterday, and now it is 100% confirmed that the other masterpiece that was part of that teaser with the MP Masterpiece Shattered Glass Optimus Prime is indeed Masterpiece MPG-13, Unlucky 13, Shattered Glass Jetfire. That's what they're going to call it, Shattered Glass Jetfire. And, uh, man, this is going to be a pricey masterpiece for a Shattered Glass, let me tell you. So what's interesting about it, so they took, of course, the, the MP-57 Skyfire, like we talked about before, and what's, you know, they went with the colors from the Commander class, Shatter Glass that we got through that exclusive line. But this one here, what they did is they kind of took some stuff away from the original Masterpiece Skyfire. The original Masterpiece Skyfire came with some extra accessories. It came with some stands for the vehicle mode. Uh, and it also came with three micro figures of Optimus Prime, Wheeljack, and uh, Jazz. Those are absent from this one. So now you just get the, the, the cover plates for the faction symbols so he could swap his factions as well as a neutral one, two extra face plates, two blast effects, his gun, and a clip stand. So you get less, but it's more or less going to be the same price. The original Masterpiece Skyfire was $250 more or less. This one is in that $246 after exchange, so almost $250 also. So you're getting a little less this time around. You're getting a shattered glass color scheme, which is not as in demand. And I mean, I'll be honest with you, that Commander class one does a really good job already. So it's something where you have to really like shattered glass. You have to really like jet fire and you have to really like spending $250. I mean, it's, it's par for the course to spend this kind of money for a masterpiece because of its intricacy and in engineering. But the fact that stuff is absent from it that were on the sprue with the original I mean, it would have been cool to just get, you know, a different color wave of those micro figures of Shatter Glass characters, but they weren't included. So that is a shame. Uh, the faction swapping thing, I'm glad they kept that in because that's also part of that character's version in Shatter Glass of, you know, sh switching factions. Spoiler. But, you know, it's still pretty cool. I, I, I'm i surprised that they went to, to make such a pricey Shatter Glass item. I'm curious how well this is going to be received because it's very obscure. Keep in mind, Masterpiece is a mostly Japanese market item. Shatter Glass didn't have as much as a big impact in the East as it did in the West here through Bacons and, of course, comic books. So I'm really curious how this item is going to be received. And uh, maybe later on we'll get a Hasbro Pulse release, which might be even cheaper. We will see, but just keep that in mind if you are interested in this, this product. There is options. There is other ways that might be potentially you could get it. And more importantly, maybe waiting it out, it might be a little cheaper down the line. Uh, masterpieces sometimes go on crazy clearance. We've seen that many times before. Last thing we're going to be covering is uh, the Toy Armada with Aaron Archer has a brand new segment that dropped pretty much last night. Uh, late last night we dropped it. Uh, it's a deep dive into why a lot of toy properties 
and just, you know, properties in general, why they, you know, can't survive today and cut it in today's world. And we also talked about the creativity within the industry and stuff like that. It's a really deep conversation kind of segment that we did. It was already very well received in the less than 24 hours it's been up. So go check that one out. Again, the Toy Armada with Aaron Archer, really good segment. I wanted to get it out before TFCon. And uh, also, again, might as well mention, because TFCon is going to be next week, uh, tomorrow is the Saturday Night Live stream. We have some big reveals that we're going to be having during that Saturday Night Live stream, some of those related to TFCon. So go check that out. Go check out the Saturday Night Live stream for the Transformers Lag podcast tomorrow. It's going to be 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Check it out, yo. Really good stuff. We're going to talk Transformers, take some super chats, you know, talk about the news, everything, and have some exclusive reveals. So check that out also. Thanks again for listening to the Transformers Lag podcast here on this Friday. Hope you have a good weekend, and I hopefully we'll see you tomorrow during the Saturday Night Live stream. I'll talk to you again in the near future. Oh, <laughs> my